Hello everyone, this is Mike G, aka Lord Commander Guts, here for another video. We're going to be doing an outline pitch on AVP3. Now I know a lot of people uh, weren't too happy with AVP1 or 2, but I actually really enjoyed those movies. Um, they definitely brought me out uh, from a strange time in my life, but uh, I definitely love the sci-fi in both franchises in that aspect. Now for AVP3, my pitch is that we'd be bringing back Arnold Schwarzenegger and our Sigourney Weaver into this movie. Now, I don't know how we can bring Arnold into this world, but um, I do have a few ideas. Potentially, you know, freeze him in time, say that the Predators got a hold of him or something. Uh, if you've seen my, my Predator outline, then you'd it probably pretty much continue on from there. Or we can go a different route or go something similar to Alien Resurrection where they clone them and try to bring them back with, along with their memories. Uh, and see if we can get a like a version of Arnold out there, just even as a cameo, or maybe he'll be like the descendant of you know his his great 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 and so on grandfather Dutch, and you know bring back some experiences, maybe have some recordings, and have his family like be dedicated to finding more predators and such. But either one of these options really work. But I would I would love to bring back Scott Weaver and Arnold, and obviously they wouldn't be the main characters, but they would be main cast. We'd obviously bring some younger cast to kind of bring in uh, the new age marines into this future video. Hopefully, AVP3 will be in the future. I I like the AVP1 and 2 being in present times, but I think at this point we're ready for something different. And I think if AVP3 took place in the time of Alien Aliens, uh, then I think it'd make for a better video or movie in general. Um, and we, there's there's plenty of sources uh, like the video games. They they actually have some pretty decent stories too that we can incorporate into this. Uh, but I'd like I'd like to pitch maybe a new enemy type that kind of comes back into play. Since we've been watching all these Prometheus uh, stuff, I obviously want to lean in towards the engineers. Maybe during their their voyage, they uncover that the predators are what's helping keeping the engineers at bay. The engineers want nothing more than to destroy humanity. Uh, but since you know, humanity's been kind of blind and, and behind in technology. The predators have pretty much uh, staked territory in where humans lay. So, in a sense, you'll see that one particular tribe of uh, predators have not, I wouldn't say adopted, but kind of, you know, uh, made it safe for humans to, you know, exist in their own, you know, solar system and a and little bit further on. Um, and then we come come to a new engagement on a, a Promethean planet. I say Promethean, but I mean engineer. And maybe we see a few engineers kind of just uh, utterly destroying a bunch of Xenos that got away. And as we get there with, with humans, humans are unsure what's going on. And the engineers, you know, try to wipe out some of the humans. The humans try running away and a predator kind of sees the conflict in the area um, and comes to join in or rather spectate at first to see what's going on sees that the engineers are just utterly destroying the humans and decides to join in kills an engineer but then is, is unable to kill any other engineers as engineers are you know physically stronger than predators and maybe he calls it for reinforcements call for two blood brothers to join him and then you have the trio of predators attacking and then as the chaos ensues. You have the aliens, the xenomorphs, kind of break out, and they grow their numbers among the, the, the broken populace of the humans, and maybe even some engineers. Um, and that would that would play for the first half of the movie, and obviously the second part would just kind of build up into a climax as humans, you know, with Scorn Weaver and Arnold try to get out and lead the group away and try to try their best to guide through their experience. And I think that can make for a pretty decent movie, especially in the future. We have the conflict starting with a human ship going to a colony, and it gets uh, intercepted um, by some random event. Uh, I'll say anomaly. Maybe a wormhole accidentally opens up, and they go through it, and then they find out that they they got shot way further than they were expecting to go, and then they decide to go back. And as they try to go back, they get intercepted by the engineers, the engineers follow them back to the colony, and that's when they invade. Um, they shoot at the ship, they have their little uh, space battle, and the humans obviously lose, landing at the planet, barely making it, and at the same time, the predators can kind of see what's going on and decide to jump in at that point. 
Um, now, I, this is just going to be a quick one uh, for Alan. What do you guys think about this so far? Do you guys like the characters of Arnold and uh, Sigourney Weaver coming back as Dutch and uh, Ripley? I think it'd be pretty interesting to see that. And maybe even some other casts from um, the other Alien movies. Maybe we can see... I know you guys might hate me for this, but, but Winona Ryder from Re Resurrection. We could probably see her back as the android. And maybe even uh, have Michael Fassbender as uh, returning as his android character. And I think that could be pretty interesting to see where it goes from there. Um, there's obviously so much to go from, from there, but I, I, they would have to do it quick if they were going to do it, because uh, you know, Arnold and Sopano Weaver aren't getting any younger at, at this point. So, uh, yeah, that's my pitch for, for this movie so far. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. How would What would you change, and what would you add? All right, guys, uh, well, this has been a fun video. I'll catch you all later. Lord Commander Guts, out.